All right, guys, welcome back to another Ray Shell Legends video. This is Ali Plays. So, update 1.11 patch notes just dropped. So, it says Teleria is on the brink of war. The ruins of an ancient civilization have been discovered recently, and hordes upon hordes of powerful glyphs fill the crypts and dungeons that lie beneath the crumbling temples. These glyphs are attuned to magical and arms and armor, capable of enhancing their specific attributes. So, it looks like glyphs and uh, faction wars. The major faction of Teleria cannot let such valuable commodity go to waste and set out to lay claim to the ruined city. Okay, so basically, it looks like glyphs are acquired through faction wars. Apart from that, update 1.11 introduces several quality of life upgrades. That's good. And new debuff. Oh, they didn't tell me about that. <laughs> that shall fill the hearts of your enemies with dread. Read the notes below to find out more. So new features, faction wars. Finally, it's here. Faction Wars is a new mode, uh, accessible players of level 6 and above, a new battle map with 12 crypts is made available to you, a single crypt for each major faction. However, the number of crypts may increase in the future as more factions appear in Raish Legends. Each crypt consists of 21 stages and every stage has 3 rounds, much like the campaign battle that you've seen before. I thought it was going to be more like PvP, um, but this makes sense actually. Uh, faction Wars cycle lasts 6 days and certain crypts are only available on certain days. The, other, the order of availability is automatically drawn up at the beginning of each cycle and is not set in stone unlike Affinity Keeps. Okay, so it's not set in stone. So that gives them freedom to do whatever they want. <laughs> Currently crypts are open in pairs. Know that no crypt can be open for 2 days in a row. So whatever crypts were available on the last day of the Faction War cycle will not be selected on the first, first day of the next cycle. So they want to keep you guys guessing so you guys don't know which faction uh, you guys should work on next. So you guys want to make sure you guys are ready for Faction Wars. I've made a series of uh, champions you can use. Uh, quick keys are required to fight Faction Wars battles. Oh uh, man, keys. And it's important to remember that every crypt key can only be used to access a corresponding crypt. So Banner Lord's Crypt Key for the Banner Lord's Crypt, yeah. Each player gets 12 keys per available crypt at the start of the day and cannot go above the limit. I wish they did that for Clan Boss. Uh, I wish they increased the amount that we can hold. So, because a lot of people waste keys because they can't attack. Anyways, that's besides the point. So these keys are automatically refreshed when the crypt closes. So no matter how many keys you've spent, you'll always have 12 on the day that specific crypt is available again. No. Keys are not burned if you lose the battle, they are only spent when you win. Okay, that's good news. In addition to normal loot, you can earn stars for completing stages and meeting certain conditions. Much like you do in the campaign, the requirements are as follows. One star stage completed, two stars. Uh, yeah, so it's basically like campaign. Three stars, five champions took part in the battle and survived. Um, so I guess there is no um, use one champion or two champions. Uh, three champions. So it looks like it's gonna be hard if you have to use at least three champions uh, in a battle and survive. And they have awesome one-time rewards. So they have crypts, uh, glyphs, and one-time rewards. So glyphs are powerful new items that can be used to enhance a specific subset of artifacts and accessories. They can be obtained by beating crypt stages in the faction wars. To do so, to do so you need to select the desired artifacts and go to the enchantment tab. From there, you can select an appropriate glyph and proceed to enchant your artifact. The glyph must fit the following conditions. There is a subset on the artifact, slash accessory that can be upgraded by the corresponding glyphs. HP percent of glyph for HP percent of substat. Substant. That's what they wrote. I think they mean substat. Uh, speed glyph or speed substat, etc. The glyph's rank is equal to, equal to or lower than that of the artifact slash accessory. Rank 6 glyphs cannot be used in rank 4 artifacts, so you have to get the proper stars for glyphs as well. Uh, the existing subset bonus is lesser than the maximum value obtainable via an enchantment. Each glyph has a certain upgrade range. For example, an accuracy glyph may enchant your artifact and add a random bonus between 10 and 15 to its accuracy subset. So the good news about glyphs, I think it might help us uh, clear the uh, 20 stages like Spider 20, Ice Golem 20, things like that. So the end game content. The glyph losses upon a successful upgrade. Though if the value of the bonus did not reach the max possible maximum, you can use another glyph to attempt the same upgrade. Oh, I don't like that. I, mean, I like that we can do it again, but I don't like that it doesn't automatically give you the maximum. 
whatever I guess is balancing as they call it. For example, if the first glyph gave you a bonus of 11 accuracy, you can use another glyph of the same rank again. If you are lucky at the next, and the next bonus is greater than 11, the artifact will be enchanted once more and the corresponding subset increased. There is no limit on enchantment attempts as long as you have the required glyphs and silver. Uh, new debuffs. Fear and true fear. So it's like veil and perfect veil. <laughs> Some champions can conjure primal terror in the hearts of their foes, be it through magic or simply being too horrific to look upon, aka War Mother, or finally Righteous. But fear debuff is successfully applied, it has the following effects. So fear, the basic one, is when a champion with this debuff attempts to use a skill, there is a 50% chance that the skill will not activate and the champion will lose their turn. Wow, that sounds powerful. Uh, true fear, when a champion with this debuff attempts to use a skill, there is a 50% chance that the skill will not activate and the champion will lose a turn. The skill that they tried to use goes on cooldown. So the only difference between true, true, uh, fear and true fear is the skill goes on cooldown. Interface changes. So we have made some important, made several important adjustments to the artifact inventory in an effort to simplify and make it more convenient for our players. That's good news. You can access it from your champion collection by selecting any champion and tapping it, tapping on an artifact or accessory slot from now on. You'll have the option to view artifacts, accessories, glyphs, no matter which slot you've tapped. Simply select the desired icon. Um, so they have... Is that considered filtering? I don't know if that's considered filtering. Um, new artifacts can be viewed by tapping the new button. It will remain selected. Only artifacts, accessories, and glyphs that have been viewed... Not been viewed yet will be displayed. By tapping the sell button, you're entering the artifacts selling menu from there. From here, you can sell any artifacts slash accessories, glyphs you wish. Sell can be coupled with new for ease of navigation in case you only wish to sell the things that you've recently acquired. So upgrading artifact is slightly different now. Rather than having 10 attempts to upgrading to the next level, you have a choice between a single attempt or having the game run these attempts until a successful upgrade. You can stop it manually. Okay, this is very good. So this automatically goes to level 4 because that would be very good. I, would, I kept requesting them to do that. Uh, by typing the gear icon, you can choose to upgrade the chosen artifact to one of the milestone levels 4, 8, 12, 16. By doing so, you let the game run upgrade attempts until the artifact either reaches the desired level or you run out of silver. Uh, hopefully they got rid of that bar, but I'm pretty sure they didn't. Yep, this is exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> so the second tab of the artifact upgrade is enchant. Okay, here it is. One to two percent. Ah, oh, these are such small numbers. Uh, where you can use available glyphs to upgrade the steps out of your artifacts or accessories. Uh, miscellaneous and balance game update reward has been adjusted. You now get an arena token refill rather than just three arena tokens. I thought we get f five. Oh, game update. So when they update the game, they give you arena tokens. Uh, I think they need to give us better stuff than that, honestly. Sorry, I might sound kind of weird because I just woke up uh, just for to get this video for you guys. Uh, significantly increase the damage dealt by Seer's Karma Burn skill. Faction filter has been added to the Champions Collection and the Tavern, so that is very good news. Filtering. Um, yeah. Bug fixes. Fix the bugs with the multi battle grin that will prevent artifacts from being sold, even if they fell under selected requirements. Yeah, I think I saw that that was an issue. Uh, fix several bugs that affected the arena battle log. You know what's weird about the multi battle algorithm that prevent artifacts from being sold? Is that if you click on it and you're doing the um, d dungeon divers. And you're doing the dungeon divers event, it actually doesn't even count towards your score. I've uh, tested that. Uh, battle log, yeah, arena battle log is messed up. Uh, fix the bug that prevented event rewards from being claimed if player hit the required milestone precisely. For example, earned 1,000 points out of 1,000. Okay, I didn't even know that was happening. Um, fix mastery that incorrectly affected artifact applied debuffs. Fix a buff that prevented Skull Crown's resilient skill from triggering when she sustained reflected damage. And numerous minor bugs. So that's basically it. So um, in review, Faction Wars glyphs and some quality of life changes and the new debuffs. So that's it for the video guys. If you guys found this video uh, helpful or entertaining anyway, make sure you guys drop a like. 
and if you guys are new to the channel and like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button while you're at it hit the bell icon to let youtube know you want to see up to date on all my latest content and as always i want to thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video